Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now, here's Tom. Once again, the studio is like being in a sports bar now. Screens everywhere. I can see uh, Jessica Alsman from our staff is uh, somewhere, somewhere in her house. I just shifted to the other side of the table. You trying to do it. better you lighting. Watch. Shifted. Oh. Shifted. Oh, shifted. Yeah. Um, Scooted. Yeah, there was an F in there. <laughs> I heard you, Jessica. Was, Don't listen you? to him. What a filthy man you yes. are. Yes. Filthy, <laughs> filthy, filthy. Fun. Fun. <laughs> Look at those blue eyes. There you go. Uh, what do you got there? TV in the background? <laughs> Oh it? yeah, there's a TV. There's a Metallica. I didn't, I didn't clean. It's a yeah, kill them all. Metallica. Oh okay, cool. <laughs> Record player, radio guys. Very nice, very nice. Good to see you, Jessica. I'm glad. Uh, Pat Godwin's in the around the corner of the Fudge's Made Studios. Remember when TVs were those console televisions? With sure. The stereo and sat the, on the ground and they weighed about oh. four tons. Remember mm-hmm. those? Yes. Yeah. They were thick. <laughs> yeah. I'm a uh, hog in here. And, and had a nice oak. And Chick, you were the first one to get the wall, the mount wall mounted on the wall. Wall mounted TV. It wasn't like eight inches thick. You yeah, to, it was like 4,000 sure pounds. They, they came in and put some oh, wow. steel in the wall. To make <laughs> yeah. sure. Every time you changed the channel, you heard your wall go, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's not happening anymore. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, that's a Chick McGee at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. This is Tom speaking. Welcome back. Got a couple of requests I want to squeeze in here. Uh, Christy Lee is, of course, at the Navy Federal Credit Union News. Uh, room in the yes. newsroom. Are you, yes. are you sitting again? Uh, no, I'm standing. Okay, you're standing. You can't tell the difference. That's so sad. No, I <laughs> there didn't. Is. Sorry, can't Altitude tell. wise, there's no yeah, difference. Sorry. Well, uh, the shot is waist up, so. Yeah, I know, but it's still the same no matter what. <laughs> so christy has got her, uh, her, her lumberjacky outfit on today. That's my last day of flannel. Okay. Which again, Looks last good. day of flannel sounds like one of those uh, <laughs> gay conversion. <laughs> I, I just want the weather to be nicer. Made by some ultra no, it's, conservative. Uh, it's a lesbian yeah, kids, right? You right. Get your flannel. Yeah. You get your uh, last day of her last day of flannel. Oh jeez. We'll turn her. Ellen Page in <laughs> last yeah. day of flannel. <laughs> Christy, do you have a stool at your? Uh... <laughs> well, we know that Jessica's got one on the other side of the table. <laughs> your, uh, uh, shifting it in your in your kitchen. You got one of those. Ro- I have to have keep one of those rolling stews, stools every now and then. <laughs> that's needed, but yeah, I have a little stool. Yeah, absolutely, little stool, yeah. Mm-hmm. And there are you know little stools. There are person. very few things on my upper cabinet shelves because I can't I reach bet, them. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's let's move on here. Okay. Where was I? Oh, I know. Josh Arnold. He's right over there at the orangeinsoles.com sidekick chair. Now. Um, coming up, we're going to talk with comedian Tom Papa in about 10 minutes. And uh, once again, as a reminder, if it gets a little bit too germy in here, uh-huh. Tom has uh, installed a fan. Yeah. So if uh, every now and then we have to turn the fan on. Yeah, Jessica, have you heard this one? To, to blow the oh, virus. No. Um, yeah. Matter of fact, it is. it seems a little germy right it? now, actually. Get the air. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Get the HVAC going. Oh, man. That's Papers. intense. Okay, Christy! <laughs> what do you have? My wig! Oh, making the camera shake. Yeah. <laughs> now, Jessica, uh, wait a minute. That's funny. Do that again. <laughs> ah. Oh, also. Oh, oh. The fan on. There it goes. The oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just shake oh, the nice. camera. All right, everybody, lean to the left. <laughs> lean to the right. All right. Scientists yeah, have found a group of neurons responsible for controlling the direction that mice turn. Well, that's cool. They refer to them as the steering wheel neurons. What? what? So something in their brains tells them which way to go? <laughs> this what? isn't science. Thank you, Josh. What? And they found them in the brain stems of mice and could help, they say, better understand motor control in both animals and humans, researchers. Hmm. Uh, all right. Maybe they could help me. You need to find the, the, the neuron that teaches me how to parallel park. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot get that down. Huh. Uh, don't you have a fancy-ass car that does it for you? I don't. probably do, but you I have no idea how to park? work it. No, I've never been able to do I'm it. I'm very good at it. You're There's good at it, too, right? Are, yeah, it's a trick Just to it. line up the mirrors, right? Your Chip? rear view mirror has to, the curbside front fender. When that, you can see that in your rear view mirror. Clear Crack it, it in, and then when you see that, cut it. And you're huh. in. Okay. Well, I'm... I've done Got it until it? I heard the crashing of a <laughs> breaking rear well, light. Well, you I, can't shut your eyes while you're doing it. I'm a pull-through parker. A what? Yeah, pull I like pull-through. Through. Pull-through parker. What if you have to put stuff in the back of your truck, though? What if you load your groceries? How do you do that? Yeah. Uh, put them in the side? I don't know. I, <laughs> now, you don't pull through when it's a diagonal parking spot, do you? I hate when people do that. Oh, he, he, oh and then pull, they're facing the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, and then they cause trouble when they try to make a right. <laughs> he's so irritating. He, he's a menace. He goes to the ATM, 
and he gets out. He won't. I'd never stop uh, honking. Uh, <laughs> and revving my engine. Oh, like, man. I'd be revving my engine like Christine <laughs> threatening to hit you. He's standing there. He's got to look. He can't operate a cash machine from his car. No. I, I virtually never go to the ATM anymore. Uh, I'm over it. Sure. And then didn't you uh, drop some money one day, Tom? And and uh, what was the process there to, <laughs> oh, to pick up the money? This is incredible. I, it, it, I didn't drop the money. I was at the ATM right here. Uh-huh. And the money shot out. And shot it, out. And, and it was shot flying. Out. I love this already. A very heavy wind. <laughs> So I had to chase the money. It was all 20s. Of course. Uh-huh. And, I, and it was blowing briskly. I love this. And I came up with a system where you grab the bill, crunch it, <laughs> drop it again, and go get the next one. Right. Not, not hang on to the bill. No. 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 Not drop the and roll. Bill. Drop Didn't and have roll. that kind of time. It was... handle... No, you've got time to handle <laughs> every bill twice. <laughs> no, you, you crunch it up, and then it doesn't blow as much. Then you go back and Why do you just put it in them. your pocket? Yeah, crunch I, it and put I, it in I didn't pocket. have that kind of time. It was really breezy. I, w- I, I would pay for <laughs> I wish we had the video. It's closed circuit video. Oh, of that. God. You know you it's know, on somebody's you know, camera. And that's shown every year at Christmas somewhere <laughs> for yeah. some company. They well, laugh themselves top. sick. From that's the, the And that's the place with the, the bank. They had to come and dig up the entire system because uh, oh, somebody something uh, got caught. A, a can goo. got caught in the... Where was this? Right here, the one up there. Oh, man. It right got there. stuck Fifth in the... Third? The, yeah, the closest bank. Across from the old Taco Bell? May or may not have numbers in the title. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. What's Christy doing? <laughs> close the whole branch. But they had to re- well, they're they had to- not going to... They're okay now. <laughs> they had to redig the whole tunnel system. I had no idea. They're making yeah. some sort of... Uh, they're capitalizing on the Fifth Third thing. There were, there were more than 100... 100 were, we go a little extra or something. Oh, they, because they they're not three thirds; they're f- yeah. five thirds. Five third is more than a hundred percent. A whole, yeah. I'll great never pe- great people. Just I'm know. just saying that yeah. the ATM. I had to chase all the money down. That's so funny. But you happened to be already out of your car when you did that, right? You, you know, were? of course. It okay. just dawned on me that that the reason I'm so upset by this story and have been for years is that you're smarter than this, <laughs> right? And we can't get through. And you, <laughs> he won't you, accept. You touch the bills to crumple yeah. them up. You don't no, hold I, on to I, I'm them. sprinting. <sighs> well, why didn't you just... Oh. So when you're but in one you're of those... Still... You're in one of those uh, <laughs> contest cash machines where it's like a phone booth okay, and the ca- okay. you're just grabbing right. them, crushing them, and letting them drop? <laughs> yes. yes. As long as I'm able that, to get them. That's the exactly the same sense. thing. <laughs> that, that we, need, we need to get one of those cash machines oh, in yes. here one more. And you'll yes. recall, if you've been to that particular bank, they've got, they've got that line of bushes uh-huh. up there. Yep. And we can give the money to charity. And some of them actually catch. went through the bushes onto the street. Over there. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Love it. That's because when you handled it, <laughs> you watching, threw it down again. Watching right. somebody chase something is and I so know, funny. I know I'm yelling, but help me. We have Jessica Alsman reporting from her home. Hello. And uh, Allie Breen reporting from her apartment in New York City. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, Allie, it looks like you're at a comedy club. Your wall is a uh, brick. <laughs> Are you sitting on the floor? I am. I'm at my friend's apartment. I couldn't take the drilling anymore, so I broke out of quarantine, and I'm staying at my friend's. Oh, All right. Bless yeah. your heart. Oh. Well that- and I'm trying to Zoom with my phone, so I have it set up. Yeah, I'm sitting on the floor trying to it figure looks out. looks great. Yeah. It does oh, look good. good. That's a that's a natural brick wall. Looks yeah. like you're doing a stand-up special. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, exactly. Well, it's a and sit-down a special. Here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, does your friend know what you do? Yes. Like right now, I mean, like the, the, this I segment. I mean, that sounds like I do something dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, no. I mean, are they familiar friends. with this segment? Uh, the- oh, yes, but she's actually out of town. So I'm in the apartment by myself. There's no one listening. Oh, oh you go, okay. You're going through her yeah. stuff? Yeah, go to the bedroom. <laughs> Let's go through her stuff. Went through the drawer. medicine cabinet already. Yeah. Went through. Mm. Yeah. Our nightstand. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've said this, um, I've said this we 100 don't share times. Toys. If I've been to your house, if you've invited me for a dinner party, and I use the bathroom. Yeah. I've snooped in your medicine cabinet. I don't blame you. And in all the drawers. And I've yeah. never been yeah, compelled I, to do I don't that. have that Absolutely. gene. Neither do I. What's going on here? You know here? what I do? Are I you look behind the shower the curtain. If you I have your shower myself. curtain drawn, I always yeah. look behind the yep. shower curtain. I always oh, look behind too. it. I judge how well you <laughs> yes. Oh, I never care about oh, that. Oh, I do. Our friendship is based on how clean you are. <laughs> yep. I'm always worried someone's hiding behind the shower curtain, though. So it's like... Making sure no one's back there, you know? Oh, no. Will. No. Who are your friends, Jess? <laughs> yeah, no joke. Yeah. Not all of oh them are God. nice people. <laughs> Did you ever, uh... Wait, Chick, aren't you worried about them hearing the drawers open and close and the... 
Cabinet I'm, open and close? I'm very sneaky. I bet. Oh, there you go. You I make a, believe I'm a spy. Uh-huh. Another thing I do, if I go to somewhere and I, I ask them for their uh, Wi-Fi password uh-huh. and I sign it, I always scream, I'm in! You know, <laughs> like in a movie. And you're famous, of course, for the double decker, or sometimes oh, called the upper come decker. On. Now, Tom, correct me if I'm wrong on this point of the show, but you sat us both down, Josh and I, and said, "Let's not talk about double deckers anymore." Uh-huh. You said that. Upper I don't remember that. that. Yeah, the upper, the upper, the upper, the upper decker, Josh. And here we are. Right, I'm Talking familiar with the upper decker. Rather than using the traditional bottom part of the toilet, right, you, right, you, you use the. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And if I'm correct, didn't we learn about that? Through him? Of course we did. Yes. I don't remember him sitting down and it's, saying no more upper decker talk. It's the perfect prank. I can't but... believe that's a meeting that was called to action. Oh, yes. That's the kind of meetings we have. Oh, I yeah. believe it. Do we have a meeting today? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to so, Allie, happen. let's get right Stuff to it. Allie Breen is a New York based comedian, and Allie is. Uh, uh, is this apartment also in New York City? It is. It's in New York City. Okay. Do you know how many empty apartments there must be here? So many people fled New York. You can probably stay anywhere you want to. Oh, wow. Well. It looks like you have a sun, like sunlight on top of your head. It's beautiful. Oh. Is there a well, skylight? There's not skylights, but there's windows oh, everywhere. The <laughs> <laughs> nice place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Sounds great. A little <laughs> chilly in the winter. <laughs> a tent would be considered a place, right? Sure. It's true. Now, it's uh, you, true. Uh, you and I are going to help everyone with their love lives, theoretically, here. What have you got? Absolutely. All of us, not just Dear you. <laughs> yeah, we're all great in at this. this. Together. Dear Allie, I just realized I'm always the first one to say I love you in relationships. So I haven't said it in this one. It's now been over a year and he still hasn't said it. Should I just cave in and do it or continue to wait it out? Oh my gosh. It's yeah, a year. a year. My gosh, say it. Go ahead and say it. If <laughs> yeah. you feel, if you feel yeah. it, say it. Holy smoly. Or smally. ask him why. Ask him if he... Is that a thing you can do? Can you say, do you love me? Or is that a You can, but, but why not? If it hasn't been said yet, just go ahead. If you really, if you feel it, say it to him and see how, how he responds. It's all a matter of timing, probably. You don't want to do it at the wrong moment. Well... <laughs> hey, uh, have you got any toilet paper? <laughs> uh, by the way, love you. <laughs> love you. Thanks, hon. Love you. By the way, love you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. You can... Uh, because there's a good chance he's been wanting to say it, and he's afraid. So, you know, say this it. This is like, love you, chicken. Kind and if, of. Well, and if also, he doesn't. love you is very different than I love you. Yeah, the love right. you thing is a little. I well, agree. I, I, I was saying that as a joke. Less yeah. powerful, well, less as, meaningful. As Jerry's always said, uh, the I love you matzo ball hanging out there on the return. It's kind of a big thing to yeah. leave hanging out there. Mm-hmm. So Let's not get too deep into There's the. There's a lot of pressure now. Uh, what was wrong this morning? You only said love you. Oh, for I went to sleep and didn't say I love you. (laughs) Do guys ever worry about that? Mm. Only when she does. <laughs> okay, just oh. asking. Uh, this is maybe yeah, a short like, do you guys point, think about the first time they're going to say it, or you just? Oh, write sure. It that the yeah. answer is yes. <laughs> first yeah. date. Yeah, guys were. Yeah, I bet Godwin's. Uh, boy, what a! <laughs> uh, I'm so happy to finally meet you. Love you. Uh, yeah. I love you. This, I want to marry you right now. This is being on a first date with Godwin. I want you to meet my son. I love you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah! Absolutely true. (laughs) They call him the love bomb. (laughs) Here he comes. I I recommend her say, just go ahead and say it. I do too, because if they've been doing this for a year and he's not in love with her, she needs to move on. Yeah. 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 Maybe she's just there for the vigorous rogering that this stud's giving her. Well, or well, she could go, I love you, and he could go, I love love the sex we have. Yeah. about the D? (laughs) Or he loves her apartment because he's living there. Who knows? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. your central air. Yeah. yeah. I love your shelter. <laughs> I love the convenience of you. Yes. Otherwise, I'd be homeless. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not having a job or a life. Or... All right. So we've solved that problem. Next. Yeah. Go for it. Say it. Dear Allie, I was using my boyfriend's computer and I found old emails and messages from his ex. They were from before we were together, so he wasn't cheating, but he was saying really filthy (laughs) stuff to her that he's never said to me before. (laughs) I actually got really jealous, but then my best friend told me that I should be happy and not jealous because he obviously respects me that much more. Uh, Oh, Josh, is she right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Behind the Scenes with Bob and Tom. (laughs) Do you want to handle this one? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Josh... Losing his mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Josh, we'll just hand this one right to you. Go this ahead. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. <laughs> he does. I he probably doesn't even remember 
that those emails are there. He, do, he, he, he hasn't taken the time to delete them because he forgot they were in there. <laughs> this is nothing to worry about. If you want him to talk dirty to you, Say, I want you to talk dirty to me. <laughs> and don't call me Susie. Like yeah. Yes. Call her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Just because there were letters left in a drawer that was never looked at, uh, Sherry, uh, doesn't mean. <laughs> how do you think I learned how to do this? <laughs> yeah, no, just don't, don't worry about it. If you want him to talk like that to you, ask I him to know. talk like that. See, this the, gets back to the beginning where Chick says he goes into someone's house and goes oh, yeah. into their medicine cabinet. Right. Snoop, snoop, snoop. Not snoop, me. Snoop. Neither yeah. do not I. A, a call me the soup dog. <laughs> Don't care. Did you snoop in the Wait, past? Wait, but are there chick? girls? I, <laughs> Did you snoop in the past with other relationships? Oh yeah, uh, I snoop. I I don't have been in relation. Well, friendship. Yeah, I snoop everywhere. Okay. Everywhere Wait, did, snoop ever. like phones? Did you snoop a phone? Uh, Journal. No, no, I don't snoop phone. Journal. Okay. Uh, you would no chick. I think chick would. Chick would read if a chick journal. Discovered a journal, a journal, journal. I would see. I would read a journal. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Now back in the day when uh, you'd go to someone's house and there might be a stack of albums there. Oh, uh, you make a judgment on what's yeah. music yeah. they listen oh, to. Yeah. Sure. Go, I I don't think you them. can help that. Yeah. Oh, you've got Melanie. Oh boy. Uh, uh, got a Burt Camford album in sight. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Candles in the rain. Great song, <laughs> by Melanie. Little Burt Camford, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Hitmaker himself. Oh, this the fly in the ointment in this raw sex. I hear Bert Camper. <laughs> scenario is he said some things to his ex that he hasn't said to her. Right. Well, there's that, a good uh, chance that would give me pause. There's a chance that it, of course. Oh God. There's I mean, a every chance. person's different. His ex probably said, "I want you to get filthy with me," and he did. So that if right. you want that, then well, do it. If you don't I want it, then don't worry. I about hope it. he says that happened. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Well, Do you yeah, say the exact same girl? things to your girlfriend that you right. said to your other girlfriends? Yeah. Absolutely. I have a script. <laughs> yeah. You've got a, you've got a same nickname. She you got knows. a type say, 20. Here comes you... number six. <laughs> and she'll go, oh boy, saying number six. Yeah, I'd right. like you to call him Herman. <laughs> Herman. Paging Mrs. Herman. Every relationship's different. Every person is unique. Yep. Don't worry too much about Come this. Come on. Yeah. Just start reciting well, everything back thing? to him. Oh, that would be great. What is like, it that sounds familiar. Like It is kind of a, well, the respect thing may be, but what does she want? Does she want to be talked filthy to? Does she want respect? What does she want? You can be respectful and dirty. Have you yeah. ever used, sure. the, used the wrong name? Mm -mm. I, I can be respectful and dirty right now. Is I've used right? the wrong name in a fight before, <laughs> which is not a good time to use the wrong name. No. I'd rather use it in a fight than having sex, though. Yeah. That's true. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you mom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, Tom, once again. You don't even. You realize. <laughs> I know you're ma being Mr. Funny and made a joke, but for you to think that is a joke, that tells us something. Never mind. <laughs> I'm calling for a meeting today. Yes. Okay. Well, let's move on to our next letter. We're speaking with comedian Allie Breen. Allie, go. Dear Allie, I gave my ex-girlfriend a credit card that she could use while we were together. Smart. I canceled it after the breakup, and then I started getting a bill for a card that I don't have. She somehow opened oh. a card attached to my account uh. and then maxed out the card. Hit him up she style. She respond to any of my calls or texts, and should I mention our breakup was because I cheated? Oh. What? what can I do? God. Hmm. So That's called on? revenge I mean, honestly, spending. what can you do? Could, you, could he get uh. that? Well, it's fraud, right? Right. Yeah. 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 But That's she's revenge spending. Her permission initially. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. She has kind of some. In that case, if it depends on how much she spent, if it's a felony or not. Wouldn't but it she might have be. to? Wouldn't she have to start sure. up the account with a signature? And wouldn't she have to? Exactly. I don't know how this. I, Declare. That'd be great if the credit card company was like, well, how bad was the cheating? Let's figure that out and then decide. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. That's 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 a weird one. I don't yeah. know how that works with the bank, but uh, yikes. Oof. That's a bummer. She's nuts. Yeah. You think? <laughs> I think you should address these when you respond, dear, he deserved it. <laughs> yeah. Like Ann Landers. Right, maybe he should theory. just take it as punishment. I don't know how much maxed out would be. Well, that's, that's what I'm rough. saying. What was the what was the cost of the revenge? How, oh, how much did she spend? What's the what's yeah. a credit card minimum? I, you can get, I don't 000. know what it is. What? 
500,000? No, 500 that, or 1,000. I don't know. Oh, what's, what is, when, when, you get a, when you get a brand new credit card, what's the usual minimum? Hey, Tom, you Tom go? Black Amex Griswold over there. <laughs> you wanna, I think 2,000 might be the starting. You want to go out on a date there? <laughs> I think I said 500 or 1,000. I think Tom's going to get a lot of love letters. I you think it's what? dependent upon your income, what they you know start you You know what you should at. do, Tom, is give us all company credit cards. That's what you should do. <laughs> yeah, how come we that? don't have company yeah, credit how cards? how come we don't have company credit cards? Uh, I got bills. Well, of course. I got always, things I want. Always thinking about the bottom Give line. Give me a credit card, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is sort of inside, but we have a message here from a uh, windbag who who knows what Godwin's first date, uh, what oh. he says on every first date. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Hello. Nice to meet you, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Would you like to meet my son? <laughs> Pat, Pat has uh, either been married to have or Have you heard my dated. John Mayer music election? Oh, five or six Kims. Yeah, many Kims. Life. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Okay. First we girlfriend have, in high school, even. Do we have time for another letter, Tom? Yeah, we do. Dear Allie. I have never had a relationship where I haven't cheated. Oh. It's the only way I can keep things exciting <laughs> oh my for myself. God. Wow. Grow up. What? My friend said I should try an open relationship, but that seems creepy to me. Oh, and God. I think it's the getting away with it that I like. Okay. <laughs> Why get in a relationship? He likes, I don't he likes even it. feel guilty about it. I mean, what they don't know won't hurt them, right? Oh, what it's a creepy that you're cheating... Oh. Yeah, that's creepier. Yeah, how do you find cheating not creepy, but an open relationship is creepy? You're a because because, because, it's, because he doesn't want the permission. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's the whole right, thing. Right, he likes it. Yeah, he wants to stay uh, around. You're a scumbag, dude. You should not be in a relationship. You're breaking hearts everywhere. It's terrible. Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, apparently well, no one's not necessarily out. breaking hearts. Right, they're not. They're maybe not they're, finding maybe out. Maybe they're glad to get rid of. Them. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's that. Please have yeah, an affair. Yeah. Yeah. We can't help you, man. You like what you like. You're going to hurt a bunch of women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. What to do. Eventually, you'll get shot. Probably. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think this problem will take care of itself. You know, there has to be gunplay down the road. There would yeah. have to be. Yeah. Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.